Welcome back to the shop. Today we're going to get started on a multi-position carriage stop for the Logan lathe. What I've got here is some bar stock, two inch by inch and a half, and I've got about inch and three eighths cut off of here. Hopefully you can see the scribe lines down here in this bottom corner. First thing we're going to do is rough out all this material, and that's going to be the start of how it sits on the front V-way right here. So let's turn around to the mill and get this roughed out and then we'll second step we'll come in and put the V in up above there so it'll sit on the V-way. After using the roughing end mill to get rid of most of that excess material, I came back in with a standard normal end mill to clean up the ends and the bottom from that rougher up to our layout lines. And now I've got it turned at a 45 degree angle, just used a 45 degree angle plate, clamped it in the vise, and we got the same 3 8 end mill in there. We're going to go ahead and cut the V in the bottom of here. And we're going to cut it so that this bottom length is just over 7 16 And by doing that, this one also should be the same length. And then we'll test fit it on the lathe.
we just advanced the cutter down and to the left a little bit at a time to clean this out until the bottom flat here is just over 7 16 which is what we wanted. So let me pull it out and deburr all these edges and then I'll meet you over at the lathe. It fits nicely onto the lathe. If you can see the very front corner of the V right there, there's a little bit left of the flat from the original milled out material. If I could exaggerate it, it basically goes up and there's a little bit of flat before the V. And the point of that is to give you clearance against the front of the lathe right here. You don't need to try to make contact on the top of the V and on this front surface. So that little bit of flat ju just gives it some clearance along there. Next what we need to do, the bottom of our carriage stop sticks out just barely proud of the bottom of the lathe and we want it the other way around. We want the bed to stick down lower just by a little bit so that when we make the clamp and tighten it up it'll pinch onto the bed instead of tightening up onto the bottom of the carriage stop and leaving a slop underneath here so it won't tighten up right. So I'm going to off camera just take probably 20 thousandths off the bottom of that surface. That way it'll stick just a little bit up from the bottom of the bed of the lathe right there. Next what we have to do is mill the slots in the top of here for the pivoting portion of the carriage stop. I'm gonna mill them to a depth of about three quarters of an inch. That way when they're pivoted forward and engaged, they'll make contact with the carriage somewhere right in this area. So we're gonna mill two slots, 5 16 wide and 3 quarters deep. Those slots have been milled, and I also took about 20 thousandths off the bottom surface that I had talked about, and took about an eighth of an inch off the top. It didn't need to be that tall, so I just sort of matched it up with the height of the saddle here. Then I went ahead and squared up another piece of plate, and this is going to be the clamp underneath it. So right now we're going to head over to the drill press. There's some center punch marks down in the bottom of there and we're going to drill some holes all the way through both pieces for a couple of roll pins and that will just help to keep the clamp plate in alignment, keep it from rotating sideways. Then we'll flip it over and drill a 5 16 hole right here through the center and up into the body. Then we'll pull it all apart, tap that hole. 3 8 16 and drill all three of these holes for clearance. Let's head over to the drill press.
I'm just gonna hand deburr these holes. And now we'll tap this 3816. We'll run a bottoming tap just to get threads all the way down to the bottom of the hole. The main body of it is now complete. In the second video, we'll make the pivots and the stops in order to finish this thing up. I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching.